We are done, you and I.
be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. Watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <laughs> Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. You well. I remember him telling you to stay out of Gotham. Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're not even a little bit tempted to use a Lazarus pit to bring your father back? Wouldn't be the first time. Wait! Why did he go after Bruce?
Natalia. I thought you and your League would have packed your bags by now. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of their leader. Burning his body would have pretty much guaranteed your place at the top. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. It doesn't make sense. Why would Raish kill Bruce if he was his successor? I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Why bother killing him, then? It's not like he would have been a threat to you. What was it really about? Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. I guess your time in Gotham has finally come to an end. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Leave Bruce out of this. This is between you and me. Now answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cowl break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Ah! Deadhood. Looks like you've been eating well. Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. Hey! I am not a criminal! I'm misunderstood. Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be done in records. Okay. Bye. Hey. Ah. Uh, you're back. And I got you what you wanted. Now, how will I 
I get this to you? Wait! Anna. Oh. Seriously? Do I look like I'm 12 to you? All available guards to red block. Play nice. What the hell am I supposed to do with this, Harley? Hmm. to stop me from helping you. What do we say? Don't worry. That's why I made this. This little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world! Don't fall for it! Harley Quinn is the last person you should trust! I bet you want to see it in action! Dr. Q has an extra strength model. <clears throat> Why don't we try this again? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd say you have a shoddy product. <laughs> It helped us get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? Place is rigged below. Echo protocol. Now. You all did so well. I'm so proud of you. Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. Dr. Q has left the building. If you see this video, it means we're all alive. 
A bit boring, really. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. A in muscles and an F in showing my softer side? <sighs> Figures. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, just answer my questions and I won't break anything else. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed? Huh. Guess all that time in Blackgate did the trick. Funny how you weren't able to weasel out of it like so many of your pals. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who's handing out get out of jail cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Never stopped me before. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. A gal like you doing in a place like this. Same as you. Visiting an old friend. I keep waiting for him to step down and, I don't know, give some inspiring speech. Tell us to get back to work. Jesus, Jim. You would have hated this. They put you on an actual damn pedestal. Maybe he'd understand. He always said people needed symbols. Something to believe in. Yeah, but we both know he meant you bats. <sighs> Not him. Except with a squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. Wish we had him back. Yeah. Me too. See you later, Jim. That girl. He looks just like I remember. So you can use a door after all. So where were we? They're listening. You may have questions. But I can think of a few reasons not to answer them.
Here's what I don't get. How come you had to serve your sentence while the rest of your rich friends got a free pass? They were favored. I wasn't. Who'd you piss off? Well, no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls isn't real. <laughs> Powers Club. Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But it's fine if I head in there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. But as for that other issue... We've already bribed the Senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to get you to safety. Death to the traitor. And death 
to the trespasser. Yeah. Respectable scum! Kill them! The voice of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. Forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. The last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. That's how you're controlling them. Give it. Nah, -uh. my toy. Your game is over, Harley. <laughs> As if. This has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party. <laughs> Pretty boring party, especially for you. What the hell did I do? 
You need to get out of here. Fast! Hey! Where are you going? You can't leave yet! You are having fun! Party's over, Hearts. Party's not over until I say it is! was faster. And, and, and he would have personally taken me back to Blackgate. Like a gentleman. Yeah, that's Batman, all right. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Uh-huh. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? So business as usual, then. Don't be a smartass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. Nah, you got it in hand. Oh, yeah. I got a full desk of open cases, it says. God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you! understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. Court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. The nursery rhyme was scary enough. How long have you known the court's real, Talia? When I was still part of the League, 
We observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining an element called Dionysium. Its makeup is similar to Lazarus Pit samples. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. The Talons. So they're using Dionysium to make soldiers. I wonder why the League doesn't get the court the good stuff. They would probably pay a lot for a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. I mean, the League creates monsters too. Look at your father. Oh, those are some harsh words. Would you say your friend Jason is a monster as well? Of course that was you. Jason never asked you to bring him back like that, Talia. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You wouldn't dare use the word gratitude if you knew what he's been through. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. So if we take down the court, the League will just let Gotham be? <laughs> Without Batman, everyone's making their moves. I'm just wondering what yours is. I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. to present our host for the evening. Host? In an owl mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew Playboy. I knew his charity, a brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Destroy Gotham. No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you. Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how... How do you know? I know. 
Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Because your league killed a lot of people at that ball. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. The voice managed to escape during the fight. Then the league will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. The court's not gonna let that slide. They'll fight back. How many people will have to die while they wage war in Gotham? Countless. The league will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. Which is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. Anything else you'd like to share about Langstrom? As much as I'd liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me.
court of ours has sentenced you to die. would come eventually. Bad news, Freeze. Your goons won't be getting that Star Labs data they were after. Whatever my associates are after is their business. I have what I came for. What is this about, then? What could be worth killing all these people for? My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you! Halon system compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air! Help us! Use the rail gun! <coughs> It was Batman, right? Who spoke earlier? Thank God you came when you did. We got your call. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. And freeze the whole city. Let us worry about freeze. Just stay here until the GCPD arrives and tell them what happened. I will. Again, thank you. Field disruptors in place. It's charging. <laughs> Get away from my storm engine! Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on this roof when the disruptor goes off, trust me. Irrelevant! 
I already have what I need. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. We'll see about that. Why didn't you listen? System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. You're lucky this thing was built with a failsafe. Brace yourself. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. Freeze! Can you hear me? You should have let me die. It would have been... so much easier for you. <laughs> the weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. I said I should have let him die, but it sounded like a threat. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now, we are that humanity. It's over, Freeze. You're out of lackeys, money, cryogel, everything. 
This... This was meant to be my greatest creation. You fly too close to the sun, and you'll get burnt. I would rather die knowing what I am, than live in a lie. That would be your cue to leave. The Bat Drone is on approach to pick you up. Put me back in my cell if you must. making things up now. Your sorry ass fell into the turbine by accident. Batman was there to rescue your hostages, not kill you. How would you know? You weren't there! I saw the security tapes. He didn't have shit to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't. He's dead, Clayface. But he was in the reservoir just a few days ago. Oh, man. You really don't know. It's been almost a year. Dead, Basil. Hear me? Deal with it. This biopic is based on a true story. My story! And I won't let you ruin it! Free. Clayface got away. I'm coming back.
I'm just here to kick your ass. I'm done playing. Tonight is mine, and you won't stop me. Closed. Belfry, Clayface looks done. Are you certain we're still detecting something? Readings are spiking. You must evacuate now. I'm sending the bat cycle to your location. Did you really think it would be that easy? <laughs> Looks like you had some fun. Gotta get my kick somewhere. And now you get to write it all up. Just another day at the office. Stopping a clay monster from drowning the city isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. You and me both. Gotham keeps us guessing. And busy. The commissioner wants me to bag and tag each piece of clay individually. Thank you for that. Sounds like a hard ass if you ask me. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. I swear, if you spandex people weren't so useful, I... Why do I even bother? Ugh. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So what? You're building an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you did. But unlike you, they know their place. 
Surprise you have submarines? <laughs> had my nails done. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard, but you failed me like you failed Bruce. He did die after you abandoned him, after all. <laughs> Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. Anyone needs to believe is that you killed Lakestrom. Uh, and what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. It's your lucky day, Jacob. We got them all waiting outside your door. My wife is still commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Montoya, catch a perp. He's like this when I found him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with vigilantes, detective? Catlin will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. <laughs> Conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! Talia. about to be exposed, Talia. It was done. Then you murdered Jacob Kane? No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. Hmm. You 
never change. I knew you were still involved with the League. How long did you plan this? Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. Then why not just kill Rich? It would have been faster. I didn't need to. Right. So now what, Talia? High five each other all the way back to Nanda Parbat? The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. I have a few notes. One, a bit cliche. Two, start over and don't do any of that. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. That said, you held my beloved back from greatness. I was there after you left, Talia. He knew what you were. He saw you and hated you. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Ah, oh, crap. You really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. That's my fight out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. I proved myself the moment you met me. When I figured out Bruce's identity. 
And Dix, too. I learned how to be a hero by serving at a hero's side. I was the Robin that Batman needed. After everything that's happened... I've become the Robin I need to be. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Tali is hiding a Lazarus pit somewhere under this city. She thinks she's about to win. I can't wait to disappoint her. just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. Oh, do tell me more about the wonders of the Lazarus pits. Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. What? I wasn't good enough for you? That hurts. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. By repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Bruce, 
Talia tried to break you with the Lazarus Pit. Remember how you brought me back? You have to fight for it this time! Report, Jason. We finished the Langstrom case. All of us, working together. But the Court of Owls is real. You found them. You're bringing in the voice. <laughs> Come on. We'll both lose our street cred if anyone sees me helping you. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Least of all, me. Let's go. I can deal with Talia later. <clears throat> Dispose of this burden for both our sakes. No! <coughs> Please, Bruce. You can't. It's your turn, Jason. I know you won't give up. I should have left you in your grave. For his sake, Talia, I'm not gonna kill you. But this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it will me. Focused on hunting me down, you missed your own determined pursuer. Oh no, the fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here, and now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Al Ghul. So the court lives forever! You want this Lazarus pit? You go through me! Go! Deal with the permit! Ha! <laughs> 
you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Lazarus pit is gone. Blasted to bits. With the pit destroyed, the Court of Owls has gone to ground. Mostly. It's only a matter of time till they show up again. Talia got the hell out of Dodge. Laying low somewhere to plan her next move. Of course, she left a few of her League puppets behind to keep an eye on us. Or keep us busy. Both, probably. <sighs> we checked the Batwing. Or what's left of it. He's dead. Gotham needs me. The court will try to cover this up, like they do everything else. But they're not the only ones watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was just the beginning.
I got this, Bruce. If you're watching this... I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation. Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. Am not. <clears throat> Looking out for me. 